we're studying a large fish population, quantity of interest is going to be fish length. Fish length is distributed with mean equal to 50 centimeters, standard deviation equal to 26 centimeters. If we randomly select a sample of 169 fish, what's the probability that the sample's mean is between 46 and 48 centimeters? Let's recall what we're trying to do here. So, we're going to have two probability distributions. In the first case, we're going to have our population of fish. The quantity that we're measuring is going to be length. That's going to give us a random variable, which we'll call x. Then attached to x is going to be a probability distribution with a mean and a standard deviation. So the process here is you have your population of fish, you draw one fish randomly, and then this probability distribution is going to tell you information about the likelihood of that fish's length. In our second case, okay, instead of drawing a single fish randomly, we're going to randomly select a sample of n fish. Now we want to attach a measurement to that, so the natural thing to do is, okay, each fish is going to come with a length, so for the sample, we're just going to attach the average of the lengths, okay? That's going to be the mean of our sample. So we'll call that x bar. Now to x bar, there's also going to be a probability distribution. Okay, the new mean is just going to be the old mean. The new standard deviation is going to be equal to the old standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Then we'll have, by the central limit theorem, okay, if your sample size is greater than or equal to 30, this new distribution is going to be almost normal. So, I want to answer questions about okay, the sample mean, then I'm going to use a normal distribution. In our special case, the sampling distribution for the mean, okay, it's going to be the distribution for x bar, it's almost normal. The new mean is going to be equal to our old mean of 50 centimeters. The new standard deviation is going to be equal to our old standard deviation, 26 divided by the square root of the sample size, which is going to be 13. So we'll get 2 centimeters. Then, we're interested in knowing when the mean of our sample is between 46 and 48. So, we're going to have to normalize this so that we can use the standard normal distribution. So we subtract the mean off of each term, and then divide by the standard deviation. So when we do that, our z is going to be between minus 2 and minus 1. So that's going to mean, what are we doing here? If we draw our picture of the standard normal distribution, I'm interested in the area under the curve between minus 2 and minus 1. So that'll give us our probability. Now, to get that, we're going to have to look numbers up in the table. So what are we going to do? We're going to look up 1 and 2. So probability of us having z between 0 and 1. Okay, so it's gone from 0 to 1 here. We take the area. So it'll be 0 0.3413. And the probability of having z between 0 and 2 is going to be equal to 0 0.4772. Now, if you notice, what do we have here? Well, the area between minus 2 and minus 1 is equal to the area between 1 and 2. And then you'll note I take the area between 0 and 2, okay, so that's this piece here, subtract off the area between 0 and 1, so that's that white piece there, that's going to give us the area that we're interested in. So we're just going to take the difference here, that's going to give us our answer of 0 0.1359.